back to the channel guys let's talk about some operations which is part of the jira service management now when you go to the operations uh, you're going to be represented with these four tabs in here the first one is actually your change calendar uh, within your change calendar you can add some of the events in here you can um, you can basically see that yeah, indeed, it's a calendar. And uh, when you click, there is also an option uh, to actually create either like a change request or a change window. And if you go with a change request, it's gonna it's gonna look for the issue type and it's uh, which is change. And this is a system one. And also, we can see that the request type is actually indeed a request a change now the question is uh the question is is this something that is going to be uh, that is going to be shown within the calendar itself well let's find that out so we're going to type in here api change in order to actually improve the security I can select the component, but it's not really relevant in here. Let's go for medium, label affected services, plan start, and also there is a planned end. So we're gonna say, uh, it's gonna end. Yeah, and there's also the change type, which is going to be, let's say normal um change start date yeah and that is also something that we can choose basically there there is like a, a lot of stuff but we don't really actually care about that so we actually see this and it's saying uh this is the api change that is going to happen and we can actually indeed see what's going on and we can see in which status is this, what is the duration of it, what is the uh, change type, what is the priority, and everything else that is also indeed needed. So when you also click on the add event, that is the same, same thing that is going to happen. And basically, you can actually use this in order to create some, some of the maintenance, which is actually pretty good then we also have the services right so this could be different types of services and for example there's like customer support services there is like financial services there's yeah there you go payment processing there's procurement there is online sales and everything else so if you actually go in one of these we can actually see uh, what are actually the relationships between these two so we can actually see that there is a dependency in here that uh, online sales depend on the customer support and when we click on the customer support it's saying and it's used by the online sales so all of these are actually linked together now we can see what type this is what is the tier we can actually see who is the owner. Now, when we click here, we're indeed now like really in depth part of the of the um, operations. I can see a lot of stuff in here. First of all, when it comes to the uh, schedule itself, right? So there is like this uh escalation and there's like on call users next users and all members of platform support if not uh acknowledged but we can definitely see that basically there is there is a schedule here so what happens is when we click we can actually see that there is like kind of a rotation in here so this means 
uh, if this is like the platform support, who is going to be supporting today, who is going to be supporting tomorrow, who is going to be supporting. These are like shifts, if you can actually call them. And so if you click on take on call, you're going to be overriding all rotations. And if you actually want to do this, if you don't want to do this because this can mess some things up, I would rather not do it. But you can create a schedule, for example, and we can say shift. I can create it. Now, these are some of the things that we're actually having. So uh, this is for Monday. And let's say we got add a rotation. So this is like um, you have three uh, three types, base, override, and final. Uh, so I'm going to call this like shift. If I call this shift, it's going to be named like that. Who are the participants? Well, first of all, I'm going to include myself in here. So that's me. Then I'm going to include another participant in here. And as you can see, immediately, immediately what happens is when I put the another user, uh, basically, then it's added for a half. Because then, if it was only me, well, the thing is that, um, uh, the thing is that, now it's in half. So let's say it's Monday to Friday. We don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. And we have the rotation right here. And if you want, you can add a time slot if you actually want to do this. So if it's not 88 a.m., it's going to be 9 a.m. But for Wednesday, we actually need to start to work a little bit early because we got some things to do. And this is the shift uh, re frequency and everything else. So if I add the rotation. There we go. The rotation has been added. And now if I actually look on the shift right here. I can see more rotations in here. I can see who is going to be on the call as well. And the thing is, you can change the uh, time zones. This is, for example, the New York. And I, I have it in here for Belgrade, for example. So that is another thing that is eligible to you. And you can actually, actually do this. Now, let's go back here just a moment. Also have some of the alerts in here. So there are different part, uh, different uh, alerts that are being used. And these are the ones that I have created just now. And uh, when you actually go for these alerts and when you create them, you also have the uh, option to either acknowledge them or to close them. And I can say, yeah, sure, acknowledged. That's good. And there's also on call. For the on call, we are actually here. And we created our shift in here. And there is like on call schedules. So it's saying your shifts. And definitely it's saying, and it's saying you're not on call. Enjoy your focus time. Then... I do have one and it's saying from here what is the schedule and this is the schedule which is for the AWS team and I can look around I can actually see uh, this person is actually indeed on the schedule for today Ah, all right. So this is uh this is for platform support. Uh, platform dev, yeah, platform support. It's here, and you can see it. And then there is for shift, which is actually defined as Belgrade. 
I can actually see myself in here and I can see my working shift. So this is this is pretty nice. Last but not least are basically like the reports. Uh, and they're like alert statistics, which well basically uh, you can use a lot of time, but let's say you have on call, for example, and we are going for the on call reports. And it's going to generate us, well, an interesting, interesting report. And it's taking some time. What I'm actually having is business day. It's saying zero to five business days or business hour, which is actually uh, this defined as a business hour. And now it's saying... What is the on call time for uh, for these users? On call time during off hours. Okay, that's um, I don't know why it's there, but this is like random generated data. Don't be confused about this. And in here, it's saying what team. What is the start date? What is the end date? What was the schedule? So that that as well. So you can look for the schedules as well. Um, yeah, so I have for this, I'd say I have for this one. And if I go here, I'm going to also see some of the numbers. And there's the UTC, right? And I'm here. And if I, let's say, I'm looking for Belgrade Europe. And it's saying update the charts. Okay. That's going to do some of the updating. Don't get confused if you actually don't see any of the data. Because this might be possible, which is actually the true part. Because it first of all, it didn't start yet. And the shift didn't start yet. Where I have defined, uh, basically, I'm taking that shift for one part and then my colleague continues with the another part yeah uh, that is it when it comes to the operations in Jira service management don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel see you in the next video bye